New York City, sir. I came to Mass. Massachusetts? Yeah. What, what part of Massachusetts? Fall River. Fall River? Yeah. And when you moved to Fall River in Massachusetts uh, sometime approximately 2011-ish, uh, was that about when it was, 2011? Yeah. Um, 2011. What type of work did you do when you moved to Massachusetts? Other kind of work, man, like construction, you know, work in the right house. And what kind of work do you do now, sir? I just told you, like construction. Construction? Yeah. And you, so you're still doing that type of work now, construction? No, I'm sick. I got my new job like seven months ago. What's the new job, sir? It's a sanitation. Sanitation? What type of hours do you work? Do you work a certain shift? Third shift. Third shift? Yeah. Um, do you have any children, sir? Yeah, I got one. Uh, how old? It's, uh, 11 years old. He born in here, but he, he doesn't live here. But, but, it was, but he was born in the United States? Yeah. So I'm going to call your attention now to a particular uh, date, that being Sunday, July 15th, the year 2012. Uh, yeah. Do you recall that date, sir? Yeah, I remember. Calling your attention to that evening, it's a Sunday evening, July 15th, 2012. What were you doing? Oh, then, uh, you talk about that night? Yes, the night before going to a club. Was there something you did before that? No, I was home. I came from... from from work. I was home and then Jason hit me up. I told him like, to come pick me up because that time I wasn't driving, you know. Where were you living at the time? Fall River. Fall River? Yeah. And when you, you said uh, Gerson, is that G-E-R-S-O-N? Yeah. He was yeah. a friend of yours? Yeah. Also from Cape Verde? Yep. And did he pick you up? Yeah. Where did you go? And then we went to Providence. Providence, Rhode Island? Yeah. What did you do, what did you do there? We went to the store, I bought like a couple of things like clothes, and after that, we talked to Aquilino on the phone. We were trying to hang out that day, it was, it was weekend, you know. It was a Sunday night? Yeah, Sunday. And you said Aquilino, did he go by any nickname that you knew of, Aquilino? What'd you say? Did Aquilino have a nickname? Yeah, Delmar. Delmar, D-E-L-M-A-R? Yeah. So after Gerson talks to Aquilino, do you and Gerson then head up towards uh, Boston? Yeah. What was your plan? Hang out. Where did you go to first? First, we went to the uh, Del Mar baby mom's house. It was a little cookout there that day. A cookout there? Yeah. And then... Who, who, was, who was... I'm sorry to interrupt you. Who was at the cookout that you knew? Anybody besides Aquilino? Was anybody else there you knew? The money is wife. That's his all. wife. Yeah. What happened all. after the? What about after the cookout, sir? After the cookout, we went to the Safira's house. He was outside, you know, in the porch. Did you know Safira before that date? Yeah, in Cape Verde. How long had you known Safira? For so long, I don't remember, man. So all the way back to Cape Verde. Yeah. And it was where was his house in relation to the cookout? What'd you say? Where was his house in relation to the cookout? I mean, was he, was he, did he live near the cookout? Safira? Yeah, he lived, he lived, he lived close to him. So when you went over to Safira's house and, and said hello to Safira, who you had known for years, what happened next? He was there, like, chill, relaxing, the coach talking. I haven't seen him, like, for a while. And you then, hadn't seen Safira for a while? Yeah. And they decided to go out because he saw me, you know? So haven't seen me for a while, so he said, ah, you here, man? Nah, I'm going out, because that that day, it was a, it's not really go out that day, he said he say to, to me, because he was tired, he came from work, and then he got a game next day. So Fiora had a game the next yeah. day? What kind of game? I what? think a soccer. Soccer game. So he wanted to go out that night? Yeah, and then he decided to go out because me, he haven't seen me for a while, and I said, ah, you're here now. Let's go, let's go have fun, you know? So he how did you uh, end up going out? Did you get a car somehow? No. He, then he came. He was there, like I told you, in the porch talking. And then they, they, uh, Danny came, came meet was, us there. And who was Danny? Danny, uh, my friend. The, the one you got killed. So you knew you knew Danny as well. Yeah, right? I know Danny from Cape Verde too. So you'd known him. But for we years. we wasn't close like that. 
but you had known him since Cape Verde? Yeah. And when Danny uh, came over as well to Safira's, um, did Danny help you guys get a car to go to the club? Yeah, Danny came, came with, uh, with his sister's car. What kind of car was that, sir? It's a uh, BMW. I don't remember the the year. But it was a silver BMW? Yeah. And just calling your attention, sir, to exhibit number one if I'm placing on the screen. Do you recognize the person in that photograph? Of course, 100%. Who is that? Safiro. Safiro Furtado? Is that correct, sir? Yeah. He was one of your friends? You also indicated that you saw Danny um, that night as well, and you were about to use his sister's silver BMW. I'm placing on the screen exhibit number two. Do you recognize that person? Danny, yeah. Once Danny got his sister's silver BMW, um, where did you all go to at that point? He came. I remember him and the mom went to the liquor store. For uh, for a little, little bit, uh, they, they 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 came quick. They bought a couple of drinks, like a, I remember, Ciroc bottles, stuff like that. What kind of bottles? Ciroc. Ciroc. Yeah. Is that a type of vodka? And pineapple, yeah, pineapple juice. And then we stayed there, like talking, drink, and the porch, have a conversation. You at know? at Safira's porch. Yeah. And how much did you have to drink, if you know? Not really too much, man. No. I don't remember, but it's not, it's not a lot. So after you drank a little bit on the porch, what did you do next? And then we went to Delmar's Del house because I, I wasn't dressed that time. We went there like to get dressed to go out. So you weren't wearing clothes that you thought you could use to go to the clubs? Yeah, the, the, the clothes are, are, are shopping that day. So once you went to um, Delmar's house, and again, just to be clear for the jurors, Delmar is Aquilino. Yeah. Okay. You went to Aquilino's house or Delmar's house. Uh, did you get clothes there to change into? Yeah. And did you and Aquilino or Delmar I change? I remember only me and him went upstairs. The other guys like stay in the car wait for us outside. And then after that, we leave. We went, went to the, uh, downtown. And when you went uh, to downtown, was this a, sometime close to midnight? If you know. I don't remember what time we get there, man. Was it dark? It was night, yeah. And who, so who was in the car when you went? Me, Delmar, Safiru, Danny, Jarrison, and Delmar. When you arrived at the club, what was the, the plan, or not the club, but I should say, when you went to downtown Boston, what was the plan? Were you going to a particular club or just going to an area? I think, I think, uh, I remember it's Danny, he told us to go there. Okay, he used to go there like a lot, especially him and Delmar. They used to hang out at the club. For me, it was the first time. You had never been there before? No. But you, you believed that Danny had been there and maybe Delmar had been there? Yeah. What about because they, I, I, I hear they talk about it that day. They what used to go there like a couple times. What about Safiro and Gerson? Do you know whether or not they had been know, there? I don't know, man. So when you went downtown, did you go to a particular area to park? Did you go somewhere to park? At the building parking lot? Like a parking garage? Yeah. Was that on Tremont Street? Yeah, I don't remember the name of the street. I don't. So you don't know the downtown Boston area nah, too well? I don't really know. Do you remember the name of the club you went to? Not really. And you'd never been there? No. Now, Mr. Sanchez, have you had an opportunity prior to testifying here today to watch some video, a compilation video, um, and identified yourself on the compilation video, mm -hmm. uh, your movements throughout the night, at least portions of that. Have you had a chance to watch that video? Yeah. Here at this time, I seek to introduce a compilation video that's a compilation of exhibit number 29 and exhibit number 56 as the next number exhibit. Let me get track counsel. No, sir. That will be received. Mr. Sanchez, before you left for the club, were there any problems at all? Any 
arguments or anything at the cookout or the time no. you were sitting in front of Safiro's house? No. No Where's problems at all? No. For the record, sir, I've placed Exhibit 175 on the screen, and I'm going to hit play. So recognizing that's not a completely clear picture, does um, the car that we see go by here and the time is 1216, does it appear to be consistent with the silver BMW that you were in? Yeah. seeing a better view now at 25 seconds into exhibit uh, 175 does that appear to be the BMW that you're in that night is that correct sir yeah <clears throat> Sir, although the coloring's a little off, I've stopped now at 38 seconds into Exhibit 175. The person standing here, do you recognize that person? Yeah, it's me. That's you? And the person to your left is who? Delmar, I think, man. Delmar? Yeah. And the person we see here in the uh, braids is who, sir? Danny. A person Sofiro. in the colored shirt? Sofiro. And the person next to him? Jackson. I'm just stopping at uh, 51 seconds into Exhibit 175. Um, as you're walking into the club, did you notice at all the two men who were crossing the street here? Did you notice them at all that night? No. Did they interact or talk to you or any of your friends? No. Just stopping at one minute and 13 seconds. Uh, the first person in the line uh, going into the club, is that you, sir? Yeah. <clears throat> Mr. Sanchez, at any point while you're in line, did Danny or anyone else in your group indicate that they saw somebody they knew or recognized? No, I don't remember. Sanchez, you seem to be having a conversation with the um, man at the door. Do you remember what that was about? Ask me for ID or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember the whole conversation. Probably because of ID. For ID. And did you have a, a license at the time or a passport? No, nah, it was passport. Passport. Because I remember I lost my green card in New York, and then I, you know, I don't really care my America ID with me. That's fine. So you just carry the passport, the yeah. bigger passport.
Did you pay a cover that night, sir? A cover charge? Where? At the at the club. Did you have to pay a cover? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember how much it was? I think 20, 20 bucks. And you're waiting at the desk for a while, sir. Was there some issue with uh, Gerson having money? Yeah, we're trying to pay uh, Jason Tiki. Me and Delmar. So you both chipped in to pay for his cover charge? Yeah. Now, sir, I'm calling your attention to once you got downstairs in the club. Again, you had never been there before, right? Mm. What, what do you remember about uh, the layout downstairs, like where the bar was, whether there was a dance floor? I don't really know that place, but I remember we, we was there like, when, the first when we get there, like, get inside. So we were still like chilling at the bar, bought a drink. Who so bought the drinks, if you remember? Beer. You brought beer? Yeah. And. What happened after you had bought the drinks initially at the bar? And we still stand like all together for a while, talking, you know, talking, relax, look around, you know. At at some point, did you ever see any of your friends uh, go off and, and interact with people? Yeah. Who did you see? And a couple minutes, like they started walk around, like go dance. <clears throat> I remember I see Danny, Danny in the middle. Of the okay, it's not it's not a, a how can I say the. the um, the place is like a, it's like a living room, and I'm, I'm talking about VIP area, I think. Yes. It's in the middle. It's like a living room. It's got so far a couple shit, you know. And then I saw Danny dance with a couple of white girls. So he was in the dance floor area dancing. And then I was standing close to the bar. Me, Jason, Safiro, where was Demar, Saf I think. Where was Safiro? Did you see him uh, go off? Yeah, Safiro was standing. Okay, it's mad quiet, you know, he, he doesn't really dance, it's mad quiet. He's like, he's standing by, I think, behind the Jackson, talking, talking. And then I was walking. You were walking? After that, yeah, walking. I tried to pick some girls to dance to. And did something happen when you tried to uh, dance with a girl? Yeah, the girl told me she don't want to dance, and then she back up, like, mad, you know? And then a couple minutes, security come, 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 come to me. So I leave the lady, she don't want to dance, and I say, why she call you, man? I, I didn't do nothing to her. I, I just asked her for dance. She said, no, I run. I walk away. And did anything happen after that? No. And um, so you were separated at some point from the group. You were trying to meet a girl? No. After that, I... Well, not after that. I mean, at that point, you had separated from your group to meet the girl. Yeah, 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 I was. And you don't know what, the, what your, your other friends were doing at that time? I wasn't. Attention with that man. After that, I came to the to the bar. I remember I, I saw Safiro like, you know. You saw Safiro at the bar. At the bar, and then we we get a drink. What happened? We get a drink together. Huh? What happened the rest of the night? After that, man, we was together then, and we leave all together, like you know. Any problems that you saw? Any no, altercations? Not, anything not like that? that. Not that. And did any of your friends indicate they had any issues at all? Nearly that. I didn't see nothing. Um, at some point, did the club close at around 2.30? Yeah. When the club closed, what did you do? We walked to the parking lot. We stayed a, a, little, a little bit. So you left the club? A little while in the front of the club. Because my friends tried to, you know, talk with some girls, you know. And then after that, we went to the parking lot. Let me just back you up a little bit, sir. I'm going to continue to play Exhibit 175. And we're at uh, 2.10 in the morning, at least according to the clock on the surveillance camera. Is that you coming up the stairs there, sir? Yeah. And the people in front of you, uh, Delmar um, and, if you can tell. I don't know. Was there anything in the middle? I was some strange. The 
person with a checkered shirt here in front? Safir. Safir. I'm stopping at uh, 530 of Exhibit 175. Um, this person right here, is that Safira? Yeah. And the person coming to talk to him, is that you? Yeah. Mr. Sanchez, what's happening at this point? I'm just going to stop it at 5 minutes and 44 seconds. What are you all doing? What are you talking about? Me and Safir will stand. They're like talking. You guys, like I told you, they're trying to, you know, they're trying to talk with some girls. And do you know what the plan was? was just, huh? What was the plan at this point? Had you made a plan yet? Nah. After that, I told them like to go eat somewhere and then go home. At this point, sir, and what we're watching, any problems on the street, on the sidewalk, any altercations, arguments, nah. anything? At any point, Mr. Sanchez, do you ever hear any conversations um, between your friends about getting marijuana or buying drugs? No, we don't use drugs. And the person you're talking to now with the braids, who is that, sir? It's Danny. Is there anything different going on here, sir? Or is it still pretty much just hanging out, uh, waiting for our friends? Just hanging out and talking. I'm the only one telling them, like, yo, let's, let's go, let's go. You, know? oh, so you, you wanted to go? Yeah, I want to go. So I don't like to stay after club in the, in the street like this. So you're trying to convince your friends to get yeah. going? Is that you walking now towards um, Aquilino on the corner? Yeah, trying to tell him to leave. <clears throat> trying to tell him, to, let's go? Mm -hmm. He told me to wait. You told him what? To wait. To wait? Or he told you to wait? That time over there, I was standing up. Look around. Now, at 216, it appears you're walking at a, at a pace down Tremont Street. Had you convinced Aquilino to leave at that point? Yeah. And the, the person here talking to a, a young woman, is that uh, Danny? Yeah.
And sir, is that you walking uh, down towards the intersection? Yeah. And who, who are the two guys you're talking to, if you know? Uh, me and Jason, we was walking there. The, the, the other dude came, he introduced to me, because he's some, somebody, me, he met him like in Dorchester, I don't know. Gerson knew him? They did friends, yeah. Introduced to me. And then he told me he's a, he's, he's a rapper, too. He's a rapper, and is that yeah. something you do on the side? Yeah. And you, do you make rap videos? Yeah. Oh, sir, I'm stopping at 219. Um, is that you and Gerson standing at the yeah. corner of the entrance to the parking garage? Is that correct? Yeah. What, what was the plan? Did you know where were Danny and Delmar and Safira? First of all, we stayed there like waiting for them because they went upstairs to get the car. They were going to get the car? Yeah, and then Jassy was smoke cigarette. Okay, smoke. So we were standing there like talk for, for a while. They was upstairs smoking too, Sophia. Well, they went upstairs to smoke as yeah. well. And then there wasn't the, the, it's like a, it's like a porch, right? I don't know, how you guys go. I'm just stopping at 221-00. Uh, zero, zero. Oh, are you in Ger are you in um, you were with Gerson at that point, correct? Yeah. Are, are the two of you just talking or is he smoking? Just yeah. Both he's smoking and you're talking? No, I don't smoke. Oh, you don't smoke? No. But he was smoking? Which was is he that? smoking, Gerson? He smokes you right here. Yeah. This car we see here, um, did you notice that drive by while you were there? It looks like yeah. Did you notice it that night, though? No, nah, I didn't pay attention to, on the road. And up to this point, uh, Mr. Sanchez said anything occurred any arguments, disputes, altercations, anything like that? Not like that. I just stopped the um, video, sir, at, at the time of 2.24, according to the camera, and at 15.22, according to exhibit number 175. I'm calling your attention now to two figures we see right here that appear to be kind of diagonally across behind you and Gerson at the foot of the entrance and exit to the garage. Do you notice those two men at all that night? The only thing I remember over there, you see two person right here? On the, on the wall, like... Two persons right here. No, no. The, the two here are you and Gerson, Yeah, right? it was me and Jasper. Did you know one over there, behind the, under under the thank over there. Here? Yeah. Hey, get a yeah. shot, screen. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is a touch screen. Why don't you circle where you're pointing? Who do you mean? Just no, touch it. it. Yeah, because I remember that it was too gay, too gay kissing, and then me and Jack started yeah. laugh. Circle who you mean? Touch right. the screen. Well, there, there are two yeah. gay men who are kissing. Yeah. And then we started talking about it, said, eh. and laughing, you know, just ignoring. We didn't make any observations, though, sir, about these two men that I have the curse around no. here. I didn't. I didn't know about it. Grounds. I'll rephrase the question. Rephrase. Did you notice the two individuals that we see here on the video that I've circled? No, I didn't remember that. I've stopped at 225.57. Back then at that night, did you notice the two figures or two individuals that appear to be exiting the garage at that point? No. Oh. You didn't notice them? I wasn't at attention. Stopping at 226.16, um, does a car arrive that you appear to be getting into now, sir? Yeah. Was that the BMW? Yeah. Which seat did you get into? The back seat and the right passenger in the back. The far right passenger side? Yeah. <clears throat> at this point in the car, sir, is there any plan or conversation about what you're going to, going to do now, the five of you? No, we was talking. Everybody was cool, listening to the music. What was the plan? Were you gonna go, go it was, somewhere? It was my CD playing. Your CD was playing. Yeah. But what was your plan? Oh, your after that, to go eat breakfast in Chinatown. So they talk about it, but we, you know, we didn't make it. So I'm calling your attention now to after you pulled out of the parking lot, you indicated uh, that you're in the rear passenger seat, correct? Yeah. Who's directly in front of you? Safiru. I'm just showing you what's been marked for identification as the letter R. Does that appear to be accurate as far as the seating positions of everyone in the car? And I'll zoom in a little bit for you. It's up. Yeah. Rear passenger behind Safiro, that's you? Yeah. Is that accurate? Gerson, uh, I'm sorry, Aquilino or Damn. Delmar is in the center seat? Yeah. Gerson is in the seat behind the driver? Yeah. And the driver was Daniel? Mm-hmm. Mr. Sanchez, describe if you would what happens as you're driving down Tremont Street. Yeah. 
after we leaving from parking lot, we went to the bridge. We stopped in the uh, red light, waiting for green light. So I'll stop you there for one moment. I'm going to place Exhibit 10 on the screen. Yeah. Do you recognize the car in that photo? Yeah. Is that the BMW that you and your four friends were in? Yeah. The intersection or the light that is depicted in that photo, um, is that the light that you stopped at? Yeah. As you were stopped at the red light, sir, what happened next? The car came quick. The car came quick. It started shooting. On what side? Uh, on the right side. On the right side, so on the side here? Yeah. How close did the car get? It was mad close. Mad close. Were you on the side that was closest to that car? Yeah. What did the car look like? You got a SUV. What color? Uh, gray. And when the SUV, the silver SUV, pulled up, what were silver, all of you? Silver, gray. Uh -huh. The jury will disregard the comment of silver. When the SUV, the gray SUV, pulled up, what were all of you doing? Um, we was in panic. They started shooting crazy. Like we was in panic. Like scream. You did know? you hear? Did you hear somebody from the SUV say something? Yeah. What did you hear said? Sup Negro or something like that. What's up, Negroes or something yeah. like that? And was that a male voice or a female voice? It's a man. You say um, shots were fired. Could you tell how many shots you heard? Man, it was a lot. It was a lot. And what happened after the shots were fired? It was in panic. We get out of the car and trying. I, I trying to check my friends if they did, but Sophia already died. Like he, he, he died. He died quick. How do you know? What did you see on of Safira? A lot of blood, and then all his blood come to me, like you know, my face, my my clothes. And after that, I get out of the car. Me and Delmar, we we, we get out in the same side, my side, and then Jackson get out the other side. I'm trying to, we was in panic, and Jackson trying to call me to let's go, let's go, you know. He was scared, and then Delmar's started crying, you know, and then we was waiting for ambulance and cops. Did you go over to Danny at all? Yeah, that, no, I turned around because I saw, I saw, I saw Danny breathe, you know, you and then breathe. I went there like in the, in the F windows, I talked to Danny, I'm here, man, don't die, don't die. So wait, wait, they come, they come, they will come right now, so hold it. Wait. He died in my hand, man. He died in your hands? Yeah. Before he, he died, what did you observe about him? Was he was he breathing, or his eyes opened or closed? What was he doing? It was a bad man. What, what did you see of Danny before he died? Did, could you he, see whether he, or not he... He couldn't talk, man. He could, you know, it was, it was breathe life. I don't know how to explain to you. You know when people die, you know. Could you tell where if he was shot at all or injured? Huh? Where was he shot? Could you tell? That time I don't know, but I saw I saw him like I think it's in in his body chest right here. You saw the blood? Nah. I saw I saw most part like I saw uh Sophia's blood, you know. Sophia's blood. And what happened after Danny died in your hands? I was crying. I was walk, walk away, like, I was scared. And then I remember Delmar called me to, D, come with me, come with me, let's go to the hospital, stay with me. I said, no, let me, let me. Was, was let Delmar me. hurt too? Did you notice whether or not he was hurt? Huh? Delmar, was he hurt too? Yeah, he got, he got, he got shot in his arm. Was he bleeding? Yeah. What happened after Delmar said, let's go to the hospital? No, I didn't go with him. And then I'm trying to see Jasu, but Jasu walk away. I lost him, so. And now I started walk away like crazy. Did you, did you see, were there any cars? This, huh? Were there any cars that stopped? Anybody come to the scene? No, it was a couple of people walk, walking the side of the bridge. 
they stopped. They, they was in panic too, you know. This area here, people yeah. were walking. I remember I saw I saw security around. The same, I think it's a roster. It's the same security I saw. I remember like this, but I'm not. you remember like a Rostovin type. Yeah. yeah. And that was on the sidewalk here. Yeah. Did they help at all? Nah, they didn't do nothing, man. What Nobody about? came close. Like only me was there, like in the car, like trying to. Did you try to stop cars and ask people for help? No, nah, man. I was in panic. Did did any cars stop that you I, saw? Did did any? There was a lot of cars in the bridge. Yeah. They eventually, a lot of cars in the bridge. Yeah. And what were these people in the cars doing? Did anybody help? You? Nobody helped, man. Nobody. Only ambulance guys and cops. Did were you there when the police arrived? Huh? Were you were you there when the police got there? Yeah, I oh. was there. But they didn't know me. I was in the car. And they, they didn't know that. I didn't talk talk to them. I just walked away. I was in, in panic. I just. Did you see the ambulance arrive too, or had yeah. you left already? The ambulance stopped like in front of the car, like. Up in, in this direction, up here, the ambulance stop. Right here, you see a couple people here. Can you right here? That's where the ambulance stop. Yeah, he stopped over there. Because I came to the door trying to talk to Aquilino. He tried to call me. I, talk, I said I can't leave, man. What about my friends? You know, I can't leave. And then a lot of people, a lot of cops came as I walk away. I was. Why did you walk away? Not even scared. I, I was in panic. You know. I don't know. That time, I don't know, man. Did the police? Huh? Did you talk to the police at all? Yeah, I talked uh, next day. Oh, the next day. I'm, I'm, but that night, did you talk to anyone? No, no. And where did you go? I, I talked to my girl. After that, I was working downtown. I trying to because I don't have a car that time. You didn't. Uh, trying to get some some cab to bring me home. That time I was I was in. I called my. I mean, I went to to the Brockton, see my girl. But while you were in Boston, sir, where where did you go? Did you even know where you were? I remember one cop was driving. He, he took me to Dorchester because I'm trying to, to go because Jackson Park is stopped there. It's truck I had a, a his uncle truck that time, red one. So you had a, a cab drive you there or a car? Yeah, no. Cops dropped, uh, dropped me in their chassis. He left me because he saw, he saw, he saw so much blood on me. Probably gonna think that like, something happened with this dude. You know, he doesn't feel comfortable to bring me anywhere. He stopped there. Said, "Nah, man. Sorry, if you, he, he told me, he told if you, if you want money or something, you can't." I said, "No, man." And that was a that was a cab driver. Yeah, I said, "No, what are you talking about? I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm and not, I, I'm not like this. You know, I was." I'm in panic. I didn't tell him the story, you know. I said, man, if you if you need some money to get a cab to, I can give it to you. I said, no, I'm good, man. Okay, just just go. So okay. at this point, you made it to Dorchester. Yeah. What about your friends? What about Gerson? Where was he, if you know? Yes, I have a see him like, until next day. Did you Did you have a cell phone with you? Not that time. Did you have any idea if your friends were were still alive, Danny and Safira? No, I know I know they died. I know, that time I, I know it was bad. Mr. Sanchez, why didn't why didn't you try to find the police or go to the police? Because I want to know what what's really happened. You know, I want to collaborate because how people go kill people like this. You know. So after you made it to Dorchester, did you make it to Brockton? Which is did you get to Brockton at any time that morning? After that. I walk, I remember I walk, oh man, I walk all night, man. I walk to Delmar's house because uh, Jackson Park is struck there. But when I get there, Jackson, like. Jerson wasn't there? He wasn't there. He, he came to the chassis, he, he, he grabbed his car, he left. Did you eventually get to Brockton somehow? And then after that, I walk, I walk around, I find another cab driver. Another cab driver? But. Uh, in the gas station, the, the first cop driver dropped me. I saw water over there. I trying to clean, clean, clean the, my face, arm. I take the, the shirt I had because it was a lot of blood. I trying to clean it. That I find another cop driver. He dropped me to 
to Brockton that day. And did you have to pay him for the, the only thing? The only th the only thing I have before I take the first cap because I have a credit card at that time. I get the money for ATM around around there around the the club because I walk. You know the other bridge. The other next bridge. To the, yeah, I walk there like trying to cut and go get some money because I have to. So you cap. had money. You paid cash to the cab driver to drop you off in Brockton. Yeah. I remember and I paid 40. What time did you get, what time in the morning did you get to Brockton, if you know? Oh, um, man, it was, it was around five or six. Was it, morning. was it light out yet? Had the sun come up? I don't remember, man. What did you do when you got home, sir? I was talking to my girl. I told her everything. He said, oh, you should go to the, to the cops. And what did, get, what did you, what have did you? some rest, huh? She said you should have some rest. Yeah, have some rest and relax, you know. But when it's early in the morning, you have to call Jash and you guys need to go to the police station in Boston. What, what about the clothes you're wearing that had blood on them? What did you do with those? I burned. You burned them? Yeah. Why, sir? Because it was a lot of blood. It, it made me, you know, remember everything. And is that, is that something to do with your culture at all, that you would burn something yeah, like that? Stayed in that form. What... Why would you burn them, sir? Because, uh, come on, it was, it was stressful for me. Like, it made me re remember everything, you know? That's why, I, my, and then my girl told me, like, you should have burned this clothes, because I, I'm not going to dress it. The only thing I keep it, it was my, my, my shoes. You kept your shoes? Yeah. Now, the next morning, did you contact Boston Police Detectives? Yeah. And did you ultimately that very next afternoon go into the Boston Police Department and give an interview at a pro on July 16th, the same day, at approximately 3.50 in the afternoon? Yeah. And you came to the Boston Police headquarters? Yeah. And did you give a tape-recorded statement to the Boston Police? Yeah. In that tape-recorded statement, Mr. Sanchez, did you give some description of both the vehicle but also of the person you believed who had done the shooting I would like I told you guys before like, I was confused about vehicle until the day they find out so because but you did nighttime. Uh, but you did give some description that next day yeah. of the car and also you gave a description of the shooter as well is that correct yeah. and you've had an opportunity to listen to that recorded statement prior to testifying is that right yeah <laughs> Here we approach, 